let's open a piece of fish and see how it looks on the inside. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. See how Amy did with her tartar sauce? Mmm. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and tonight we're frying up some delicious fish and chips. We're gonna use a cup of self-rising flour. I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of cornstarch. We're gonna put in a little onion powder, cayenne, garlic. So let's just shake some garlic in here. Garlic powder, about a half teaspoon, I guess. This is a half teaspoon. Um, I'm gonna put in about a half teaspoon of cayenne. And I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of onion powder because I like it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add a cup of liquid. So you got a half cup of water and a half cup of milk, and we're going to add it to our bowl. And now I'm going to whisk it. All right, I'm just going to half my fillets into strips because I like fish. Um, to be in strips like you get at Captain D's. <laughs> so that's how I usually cut it before I fry it. I'm going to salt my fish well and pepper it. All right, for the fish, we are going to barely dredge it in some self-rising flour, then we're going to dip it in our batter and then fry it. And yes, I do think I will add some more oil. I forgot about this over here. It probably needs to be more like deep frying than pan frying. While I'm waiting on them to, um, that grease to get a little bit warmer, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly dredge these real quick. All right, let's start dropping this fish. You wanna shake it just a little bit and then lay it in there. And it was really big, I'm gonna use my hands. I hate tongs that have um, silicone on them. They ain't worth a flip, really. They don't work near as good as metal tongs. For your information. You do want to let it drip off some before you put it in the skillet. You got a real big frying skillet. You can actually um, let it go in there and just make crinkles. Separate these. Flip them. That's a pretty batter. It's gonna be tasty too because we put some good stuff in it. Now this one, I'm gonna take that turn the other direction so that it's the shape of the skillet. And the way in there better. I'm going to put it back over. Just turn it around like I should. Okay. Those are looking pretty, aren't they? They look really good. These we can get out. The other ones we can flip.
we're gonna drop our last two. No, it's one. Our last one. I'm gonna get these old ones out and then I'm gonna drop some. make some funnel cakes for y'all. It don't take as long to make these, of course, as it does the fish. So don't get them too brown. I'll do one more batch. And then we're gonna eat. All right, let's eat. I'm gonna get me a piece of fish. A little few crunchies. A couple of pieces of fish for me. A couple of hush puppies. And a couple of chips. Not many, just a little. Some of them got really too done. All right. Amy made us some tartar sauce. I'm gonna put it right here. And we like ketchup with our hush puppies, believe it or not. And our chips. And our chips. So there you go. Pour me some tea. Okay, let's open a piece of fish and see how it looks on the inside. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. My batter wasn't too hot, so the batter's good and done. It doesn't, you know, doesn't, it's not raw. Lots of people when they fry their fish, their batter um, is too thick and it's kind of raw against the fish and you don't want it to be that way. It looks really good. Let's dip, see how Amy did with her tartar sauce. Mmm. Very flavorful. I think it's got the perfect amount of spice to it. It's delicious. Now let's try our hush puppy. I'm gonna open it up and let you see the inside of it. See, it's nice and done. I don't put oil in the hush puppy mix because it absorbs plenty of oil in the skillet, okay? This is like being in a restaurant again tonight. Thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. <laughs>